and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Guide today. I'm going to go over the 1030 content. As you guys know, it is Legend Saturday. And nothing feels greater than to have Legend Saturday finally back. Now, obviously, it was back a week or two ago, but what, my point here is that it's nice to have this consistency again. Because as a content creating, you know, a content based YouTuber, content's what drives this channel. And having no heavyweights, no flashbacks, no veteran, well, no one cares about veterans, but no legends. No Mutt 10, no Ultimate Legends, no no NFL 100. Getting rid of all that like, consistently on a weekly basis has really made it hard these last few weeks to really like be able to wake up and count something. I know like Saturdays I wake up, do my Legend video, like it's I've lost some consistency of the like, consistency factor. So it's nice to see two Legends in LTD again. Reminds me of home, guys. It reminds me of the good old days back in August. The consistency. Happy to see it. We got two Legends standing in LTD, like I just said. I will be having a market talk for you guys, going over the whole Legend Saturday stuff today as well as probably the best training value. So stay tuned for both those videos. Hopefully those are out to you guys in the usual timely fashion that you guys are used to. And guys, before we get into this video, we go over to Twitter and check out all the legend and everything that should go down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn the Noti bell, come join the family, boys. Grind to 20K, so let's keep it going. If you guys keep going strong with the Noti gang, I'm telling you, Noti gang, commenting down below and liking the video is so huge in helping this channel grow. So if you're here right now, let's see if we can get this 1030 video to 200 likes. We never get a legend video above 200 likes, so let's see if we can do it. Everyone right now, spam the like button, Hit that noting bell and come join the family. That's all I can ask for, guys. Now, as far as new legends, I'm pretty excited for them. They the stats were looking pretty nice, and the legends are getting better. Hopefully, we can get them to a point where like we need these legends in the 95 overall range. Once we can get to that point, we're gonna be solid. Like consistently 95 to 96. Once we're at that point, the legends are gonna be really usable again. That's been the only thing with them. They've been a little less usable because they're behind the overall range. If they get to 96, 95 by like next week, if they can make that upgrade, that'd be really huge in terms of what we can look forward to on a weekly basis. And then obviously legends aren't gonna last too much longer. I believe like after the Super Bowl, are they gonna be rot start going right into the time where we end up start getting like the ultimate legends and stuff? I think there I know there's a break of legends, so that's gonna definitely be coming in the near future. I remember last year, like one of the last legend drops, like 95, 96 overalls, like Ray Lewis and stuff. So I don't think we're gonna go on for that much longer with legends. But we gotta enjoy it while it's still here. I don't remember if we got that big break last year of legends around Christmas either though. I wasn't really I wasn't really YouTubing back then, so I'm not really sure. But guys, let's head over to Twitter. Let's go check out all the legends. Oh, and by the way, the packs. The packs gonna drop. And when they do drop, guys, remember, as per usual, my best advice for you, there's two offers for the bundles. There's the eight player bundle with the topper, or there's the five player bundle. Now remember, if you buy the two five player bundles, it is actually cheaper to buy two five player bundles than the eight player bundle. So essentially you get two extra packs for less, but you do not get a topper. So you pretty much would you rather have two extra legend fantasy packs and an extra dollar or two? Or would you rather have a topper over a dollar, like two, one to two dollars and two legend fantasy packs? Depends how much you value the topper. The topper is like a 90 plus now, I believe. So it's gotten, or an 89 plus. So it's gotten a lot better. The topper is definitely a lot more worthwhile than it used to be. But that's just my personal opinion there. It's up to you guys on what you want to do on that sense. All up to you guys. I personally, I don't know what I'd do. I mean, the topper is awesome and all. But the extra legend fantasy pack could be huge. That could be two potential chances to pull some big things. It really depends on how lucky you are. If you're a lucky guy and you can pull things out of packs, by all means, go for it. If you're not that lucky and you just feel like you need that guaranteed topper just to boost your packs, by all means, go for that too. It's all up to you guys. But let's head over to Twitter. Let's check out all the cards and see all the stats. Hey guys, so we're doing it over on Photoshop because I do know you guys have had trouble seeing the stats when my face cam's in the way. I know you guys probably rather have my face cam on than off, so I moved this picture over so you can see it probably. So the first legend we have is 95 Corey Dillon. Now, these, uh, these uh, legend drops actually end up being 95 96. So. Just like I said, they're right in line with what we've been looking for. Really happy to finally be seeing that. Now, if we can start getting to 97, 96, that'd be even better, but we're getting there. I can't push my luck here, but 95 halfback. If you guys remember the legend of Corey Dillon, when he first dropped, I remember his theme diamond card dropped and he was like a, the goat for like a week or two. He got, he was like the first card to get like armbar or something like that. He was a super, super power back. Now, 95 overall card. I was not expecting this, but a lot of theme diamond cards have been getting upgrades, guys. So do remember that theme diamonds, if you have those cards still, probably going to be increasing in price as they keep getting their cards. Six foot one, definitely going to bolster the Bengals theme team. Forever has that thing. Six foot one, 91 speed, 92 excel. Speed and excel, not great, but he is a power back. 90 agility, 94 carrying is great. 66 catching, 90 looseness, 89 trucking, 94 break tackle. So break tackle is awesome. He's going to definitely get arm bar. He's going to get bruises. He's going to get all that stuff. Now, it depends on his juke and spin, but. I don't know if he'll get jukebox. 89 trucking is a little bit low for a strict power back. A 90 looseness a little bit low. Carrying is great. Agility a little bit low. And excel and speed very low. I mean, I can't recommend it as an upgrade over Bo Jackson. Now, what would this card be good at? Probably a fullback spot. Put him at fullback. 
have a nice power back there. But even then, I'd probably still rather try my Okoye with the blocking because you're not going to get that with Corey Dillon. And Corey is very similar. Card, not the greatest, not going to lie. I mean, I was expecting a little bit more. He does have the armbar type archetype. I don't know what it's called, but that is the... I don't want to see the archetype that means you can get armbar. Now, I was expecting better. For 95 overall, to not have one stat above 95, you know, it's kind of it's kind of sucks. Now, how do you not have one stat above 95 and you're 95? doesn't really make sense. What, what This card could have had better. If this card had a 92 speed, right? No, no, 93 speed. Should really say like a 93 speed at this point in the game. 93 speed and a 92 tracking would have been a beautiful card. But he's too slow at this point. Like I said, Okoye is pretty similar to speed. Too slow, and he's honestly not as strong as he should. Be, or he should have like a 98 break tackle. Give him like a 98 break tackle, and I could be like, you know what? That could be a fullback for me. But that break tackle is no better than Bo Jackson. So what is Bo Jackson compared to him? Bo Jackson has better truck, better better agility, better looseness, better speed, better. So I'm not surprised a little bit by a lot. So can't really advertise this Corey Dillon card. Not my favorite. Hopefully the other card's a little bit better. Corey Dillon's okay. Again, in a Bengals team, team is going to be an awesome wild running back. I really never even heard someone running a Bengals team. Like, I don't even know what you guys got. You got like Andy Dalton, Corey Dillon, like AJ Green. Do they even have a good AJ Green card? I don't even think so. I really don't know how. If you guys have a Bengals team down below, I apologize. Let me know though. I'm truly interested to see if someone has a Bengals team team. Comment it down below. Now, let's head over to see the next card. The card is Rob Ninkovich. Now, I find this truly hilarious. This man gets a card around this time of the year every time. He usually gets a playoff card. And the one year he doesn't get a playoff card, he gets a legend card. This man has gotten a card every, I'm not even joking. I could see him with a purple border in my head, like permanent linger. Every Madden, every, he always gets a card. Every year, he's a playoff card, ghost card, he always gets a card. This guy's been getting cards for years now. 95 overall left then. Bull Rush archetype, can be powered up. Now, he's six foot two, 82 speed, 87 excel. Great athleticism, I'm gonna be honest. That's not bad for a, for a Rob Ninkovich card. 93 strength, 93 tackle, 95 play rough. Really solid stats. 90 block shit, 92 power move, 80 finesse move. Honestly, this card's pretty amazing. Is he better than Michael Strahan? No. That's the one thing. So the legends are looking a little bit underrated today. Not underrated that they're, they're better than like we think they are. Underrated as in EA did, EA did the thing where they underrate cards and they expect them to not, they make them worse than they should be. He's pretty much just like a base card. Play rec's amazing. The tackle's great. The speed, the speed everything's great. Block, everything's like on paper everything's great but like if i go over to my michael strand here i'll give you guys a quick comparison almost positive strand beats him in most everything let's see michael strand same overall too michael strand has almost the same speed and almost the same excel so i thought it says the same almost the same strength or worse play rec worse tackle better block shed way better power move and way better finesse which means he's just a way better pass rusher and his pass rush, his power move gets to 99 and his block shed like his block shed is finesse and power move is way better and at left end as good as i like play rec and tackling the tackling is not that important if he can't block shed off or he can't pass rush someone so i definitely prefer my michael strahan this rob Nikovich is okay not bad on a patriots theme team he's gonna be insane I de there's definitely some patriots theme teams out there i'm not the biggest fan of this rob Nikovich, but again so far the two the two both two legend drops a little underwhelming for the most part not entirely what I expected them to be, but like I said, not not as a whole, not bad either. Now let's head over check out the LTD. All right, so the final card that we got is LTD Jason Seahorn. It's not that often we see a New York Giant LTD card, a nice giant card, theme diamond upgrade. So this was a theme diamond upgrade, guys. So for the most part, like I said, it looks like theme diamonds are gonna start coming in waves now. We're probably gonna Chris McAllister pretty soon. LTD. That's probably how they're gonna finish out the Legend promo, giving us theme diamonds. So he's an LTD, obviously, which means he quick sells for what is it, 250,000 coins. Six foot two, so he's six foot two, 93 speed, 93 excel, really great athleticism. I'll give him that. 92 agility, 91 jumping, 92 play rec, 94 man, 88 zone coverage, 93 press. So here's the issue with this card I have right here. The only issue is that these stats are the stats of like one of the cornerbacks that I got back in like like a night train lane, right? Like if you upgrade this zone a little bit, you can get it to 90. Like I shouldn't, I, like like I've been saying in many videos. If you guys have watched any of my videos recently, I shouldn't have to power up upgrade scheme cam up card just to get them to threshold we should be able to, like if you're 96 overall and thresholds are 90 almost every card you should almost be a threshold everywhere once again another card today that has a 96 overall with not one stat above 96 like i, I don't understand the card's still great powered up and counted though he's gonna have close to like a 98 99 man if you have john madden lockdown plus lockdown times three plus powered up you will have 99 man coverage you will have above a 90 zone gonna have like a 97 press Gonna be one of the most physical cornerbacks with athletes. So he's gonna be one of the best cornerbacks in Madden, not gonna lie still. But if his zone was already like a 92, like it should be, and his jump was a little high, he would have like close to 99 stats across the board down here. 
the speed's gonna be great though powered up with sprinter and everything he's gonna have like 95 speed with this with shaker i should say for myself 95 speed with like 94 excel gonna be very he's gonna be super athletic he's him if you have him champ bailey and Deion sanders you're gonna have a crazy athletic cornerback squad it's gonna be really hard to pass on jason zero is looking pretty solid i don't know what his price would go for it'll probably go for like 500 600k starting probably 800 and then it'll probably go down to like 500 600k now unlike daniel jones people are actually probably gonna want this card i liked it i like daniel jones in real life but that card was nothing special especially because he had to power it up so my opinion is jason is pretty good not gonna be a bad card so he's probably gonna go for like 500 600k a lot of people probably have him on like a speedy secondary type squad but that's about it for the video guys thank you so much for watching if you're into the channel, make sure to go below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's keep grinding to 20k. Comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding the legends. If you guys are excited, let me know what you rate these legends down below in the comment section. And also give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get to over 200 likes in this video? It'd be greatly appreciated on a 1030 video, guys. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.